I'm Joan Crane with Suncoast Art Academy and today we are going to work on a can uh, landscape and we're going to take this blank canvas and turn it into a beautiful painting today. This is the palette that we're using today. We have a titanium white, we have cad red, and here another red crimson. If you don't have crimson, don't worry about it, but it is a dark red. Thanks, Tartanian. And we have an ultramarine blue. And Theo blue. And if you don't have the Theo blue, it's a darker blue, that's okay, don't worry about it. And then finally, a cad yellow. Today we're using Grumbacher paints, acrylic paints. This is the palette that I'm going to use today. It's just an ordinary ceramic uh, plate that you can just get anything out of your um, kitchen cabinet. We work fine. We're working with acrylic, so it's water soluble. And to mix the colors, I'm using this little plastic knife. Okay. Okay. The brushes that we'll need for this project today are filberts. I have a couple filberts out. This is a very large one. This is a typical uh, size filbert. We have some flats, rounds, and we'll need um, some straights to do some of the detail at the end. Line brushes. Okay? And we'll have some water available to us to clean our brushes. Okay? I want to show you the colors that I have out. I have out our cad white right here and our ultramarine blue and the cad yellow and the cad red. So first we're, we're, what we're going to do is um, the underpainting. We're going to make a real light blue wash for the sky. I like mixing with my brush but you're welcome to mix um, with your knife the colors and, and you'll discover what you like best. But for now I'm using my large filbert and I'm applying plenty of water that to my filbert and we're going to start mixing color for the sky. And we want to make sure we get plenty of um, paint on our brush. And then we'll go over here. We'll put a little bit more water on there because I like to have it watery. Because we're just doing underpainting right now. So with large, long brush strokes, um, we'll just start doing the sky. Make sure you have plenty of paint on your brush. Right. Plenty of water on your brush, and it, and um, it is sky. So you might want to add some various colors because not, sky is not always um, one color. And we'll stop with the sky about halfway down the canvas. We just did the sky and now we want to get some sunlit grass. So I'm going to put a little bit more water on my brush and some, let's just say it's going to be an orange. So we'll want to make orange we want a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow and we mix that around with the white. I want to get it nice and juicy so I'm going to put it more water on there. Add a little bit more yellow. I like that color much better. So we're just going to get like a sunlit foreground. Put a little more yellow in there. And more water. So it's nice and thin. We're going to walk over to our canvas. It's still looking kind of blank. And so we're going to just do the um, background. And here we go. So that's pretty sunlit. Sunlit foreground. I'm just putting more water, keep it nice and wet. Okay. 
All right, so now we have the sky and the the um, sunlit grass for the under painting. And so we're gonna add right now, we're gonna add a little bit of dimension. Let's start at the top. And I'm going, see, I don't know if you can see my palette. I'm gonna just add some uh, darker blue. I'm adding a little bit of cad red to make it a little bit darker blue. So it's kind of turning out gray. That's okay. I don't know what your palette is, but mine's a little bit gray. So we're just adding a little bit of dimension. And I'm giving you ideas. You don't have to copy me exactly. So let's see what else we can do. Add some dimension. So we little, a little bit of stormy sky, looks like. Keep it nice and light. We want to make sure that the sky's not going to fall on us. It's too heavy, it would hurt, right? Okay, so what about we put some, some clouds right there. I got the white now. I'm using the white. Put some clouds. Wherever it feels good, do it. a little interest in the sky. I already have that kind of gray going on, so I'm going to put it underneath the clouds. Give the clouds a little bit of weight. Of weight. So if you ever looked at clouds, they're not all one color. Sometimes clouds have yellow in it, right? If you look really close, there's one good thing about painting, it helps you see. A little bit light coloring in there. Clouds aren't perfect, and neither are we, as far as I know. I'm not perfect. I try real hard, but... Okay. Because I can always... So I'm still working on the sky a little bit. Adding a little bit of interest. We want our painting to be interesting. And like I said, do just wherever it feels good, just lay down some color. So, um... This sky is going to have a little bit of interest. And what I'm doing, I'm just mixing colors right here on the canvas. And what we're doing is we're going to create a painting in no time flat. But you know what? It took me four years to figure out what technique I liked. Because when I went to art school, they did not discuss technique and that's kind of what we're doing right now we're just we're talking about technique and I don't know you probably don't have four years you might have an hour but you don't have four years I'm sure of it and not all of us want you know not all of us want a career in art we just want to paint the sky and a little bit of the um, we need to add some dimension to the um, sunlit so over here I'm gonna put a little extra blue we need some blue for the um, the grass. So I'm going to add the blue, and we're going to go back over there and add some dimension to the sunlit grass area. And I'm still using my filbert, my filbert brush. Don't want to use a small brush yet. So if you mix blue and yellow. You get like a green. I'm going to add a little bit of red there so it's more 
brown because once you have red blue and yellow it's kind of going to be a brown so here we go and we're going to just add a little dimension to the uh, sunlit I'm just adding a little dimension, a little interest. This is your painting, so you can put these colors wherever you want. And I don't know your level. I'm thinking that I'm talking to adults, but still doesn't know, I still don't know your level of painting, so. Let's get some more color on our brush. And I am a big fan of just mixing right there on the um, canvas. I found that works for me. You do what you like. So we're just adding some dimension. Maybe we have something going on over here and up front. I don't know. We'll do something with that. Okay, we have a little hill and a little maybe grassy area right here. Add a little bit um, of this titanium white because we're going to have a little bit of fun filling in the clouds a little bit so I want to make sure I have plenty of white to do so. Titanium white and then we're going to go over here and uh, work on the clouds a bit. And like I said I like, I like to mix my palette I want you to look at my palette look how messy it is but that's the way I like it and so I've been mixing and I can just pick up the color and nothing's going to be precise. We don't, we're not after precision at this point. So we're going to um, fill in some of the clouds. And it looks like I have a little bit of brown on my brush. That's okay. And let's see. Fill in these clouds a little bit. I have plenty of paint on my brush. But it looks like I have quite a bit of brown. Let's get rid of some of that. So what I'm doing, I'm just wiping it out. I'm just pushing it out. It's a good thing I did that because look, I had all that brown. So I'm going to get some of this cleaner white and go over it a little bit. And you know what? It is a happy accident because look, I got some color in there. So just, just mess with your clouds. And these ones are pretty fluffy. Sam, I'm gonna make these. Make some fluffy clouds over here. On my palette, I have a little bit of orange now, red, cad red, cad yellow, and ultramarine blue. And um, I have, what I'm using is my uh, round. And we're gonna start giving this some highlights. And up here, let's just say this is a mountain. And I'm gonna add some of these colors right here to make it more brown. We're going to make the mountain come up a little bit. I don't know. It looks more like a hill, doesn't it? <laughs> mm. Say it's a hill. It's a hill. What the hell? It's a hill. All right. So
the orange is giving us some color and depth. I'm going to say there's like a path coming down here. You see that? Let's make some kind of a path. I <laughs> just, I'm using my round like it's a fillet or something, but it's okay. Smaller brush strokes. Okay. All right. Now, I think I'm going to add some yellow now. So I'm going to go over here and fill up my round with some cad yellow, add a little bit of this orange that's left over, and maybe thin it out a little bit with some water. I'm just kind of blending in a little bit with this yellow mixture. yellow here around the orange parts blend that out I think it's dried a little bit but it's very forgiving you know the acrylics you might have you know what if you wanted to use a filbert it'd be perfectly fine I have a round brush mixture. Just in case we come across some green in the meantime. I'm going to clean off my brush so it doesn't have too much green in there. So I got it nice and sharp at the end when I cleaned it just now. And we'll make a little bit of orange grass. Start from the bottom and work up. One color. And you can see I went around and I, I did some orange grass here and there. Okay, and what we're going to do is make some grass, give it some details. Grass comes in all colors and all directions, right? It doesn't look like a windy day, although the sky looks like it wants to get windy. So I'm just putting green here, and I'm going to come back later with my fine uh, line brush. But right now we're using this thicker um, round brush, and we're going to come back and make some details. And this is going to be uh, much closer to us, this foreground here. I'm going to add some green. And then later, after we use this thicker brush, we're going to add thinner, multicolored green blades. line brush. I'm going to take some of this green I mixed together using the ultramarine blue and the cad yellow and I'm going to make thin wispy um, grass. I'm going to start from the back here. Well, it's not so thin.
We'll put some yellow in there. It's hard for me to paint sometimes when I'm not right in front of the um, canvas. I'm going to put a little bit of green grass throughout this painting before we uh, start filling in this big, bigger area right here. So that's what I'll be doing. And so this is, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm just putting little bits of green grass where I put little bits of orange grass. because it's out in the middle of nowhere and no one's been mowing it and taking care of it, so it's very natural. So we just place, place some green grass wherever you'd like. I hope yours is coming together like I feel like mine is. Okay, we'll just start at the top of it. And I'm moving my brush up, upward strokes because the fat part will be on the bottom. The thinner, wispier parts will be up top. So we can just go back and make sure they're not all going in the same direction. Because we're not painting a zoo picture, a zoo landscape, where it's way out in the nature. All right, so I have the um, green grass here, and I'm going to use some lighter yellow on my palette, and uh, just kind of drag it through the green. It's still going to be green, but it's going to be a much lighter green. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Can you see the yellow that's coming out? And then I just I want to show you this. This paint is really thick. So it's sometimes good to just add a little bit of water to thin it out. of grass and the details because we're going to, this is where it's going to really pop. The colors are going to pop and it's coming together when we're working in detail like this. So I put the water on there and it's really thinned out my paint. So I don't want it to be straight water, but I will mix it around a little bit. I'm just mixing it with my brush and so we're going to get some lighter strokes of yellow. Right here, I think what I'm going to do, and I want you guys to do the same thing, like if, if something doesn't feel right, just go change it. So right here, I'm going to make it lighter, I'm going to make it like a dune, and, I, and I'm using a large brush, so I'm, I got the um, filbert out again, but what I'm going to do is make a, um, a lighter area right here so it's almost like a dune what I'm doing is I'm mixing a little bit of the ultramarine blue with the yellow I'm gonna make like a green because I think I want to put like a plant right here we're gonna make a nice big plant I don't know How's that? I'm just making it up. What kind of plan is this? I 
and that's not a thing. I'm just using my imagination. I don't have anything to look off of. Looks like a corn husk, corn plant. What do I know? I'm a city girl. What we're gonna do right now is some dark, darker orange. Is we're gonna try to anchor this, and just we're anchoring it by using some of the same color orange. And I'm make, what I'm doing is I'm just making some wispy grass, kind of blending it in, making it look like it belongs there. So with this little bit of um, kind of a golden color I have on my palette, and using my line brush, I'm going to make some long golden grass rods coming up from over here. This is Joan Crane from Suncoast Art Academy, and thank you for joining me with this landscape picture we started with a blank canvas and in an hour or less we look at what we have voila so um talk to you soon thank you bye bye